Hey guys, this video today is going to talk about basic and slightly more advanced voice control skills you can use in conjunction with Amazon Alexa and our products. For a more robust overview of available voice commands, be sure to check out our white page documentation and also take a look at the skills page within your Alexa app itself regarding Alexa Rust Sound Smart Home and Alexa's Rust Sound Control skills as well. These can be found within the app and would be necessary for you to set up on your Alexa device anyways. So let's take a look. The two skills that you will be using are Rust Sound Smart Home and Rust Sound Control. The Smart Home skills are the more basic ones where you're just simply going to address your um, Amazon device with a basic command like turn this room on, turn this room off, volume adjustment as well. So let's look at that first because that's just the basics of how you would initialize the system. For our test setup today, we have an MCA66, an MBX Pre as an audio source, and our XTS keypad. And we, of course, already have set up the Amazon integration on this product. Let's turn a few rooms on. Alexa, turn on the family room. Okay. There we go. Family room is on. Let's look at our room list here so you can see everything. We've got a few other rooms available. Alexa, turn on the kitchen. Okay. Alexa, turn on the office. Okay. So you can see every time we're issuing a command, Alexa is acknowledging that, and the corresponding zones are turning on. Sometimes this can take a little bit of time to update within the Rust Sound interface because this is a, a third-party system and the information might not just instantly be there if you're already looking at the keypad, but generally speaking, that shouldn't be an issue because if you're using voice command initially, you're not going to be in front of a keypad most likely. Um, but however, when you do look at this keypad, as you can see, those three zones did ultimately turn on when we refresh that page. You can also issue commands within a specific zone. So let's go to our family room here. It's currently set for an AM FM source input and our volume level is the default 20 value. Let's increase that. Alexa, turn the volume up to 50 in the family room. Okay. Alexa, turn the volume down to 20 in the family room. Okay. Alexa, mute audio in the family room. Okay. Alexa, unmute audio in the family room. Okay. So those are some basic command options that you can do within a room of audio as well. And this is all using the Rust Sound Smart Home skill. The Rust Sound Control skill offers a bit more advanced options. And when you're addressing your system this way using Alexa, you're not simply given a command like Alexa turn this on or off you're actually asking Rust Sound to do this and you're doing this through Alexa so the the initial voice command is a little bit different and you'll notice this in our our white sheet documentation as well so to do a smart home skill excuse me a, a Rust Sound control skill we're going to address our you know our Amazon device here but we're going to start with ask Rust Sound and this option is going to let us do a, a few more in-depth things that we wouldn't be able to do with the control skill, such as recalling a favorite. And by the way, favorites work very well with this type of audio setup. You are limited, and I generally wouldn't rely on voice control as a primary means to operate the system, but it's a nice extra layer of frosting on top of an already existing audio control system that you have. So if you happen to not be in front of a keypad or maybe you're you know, in the kitchen working on a nice meal and music's a little too loud or some company comes or you get a phone call, well, well you get maybe messy hands or something, you don't want to touch your nice XTS keypad. A basic control like that would allow you to simply mute the volume or turn it down um, or even change the favorite. So this system does work very well when you have favorites set up. That's primarily how I recommend you use it. So definitely take advantage of the Myra Sound Favorites option. And I do have a few favorites already set here. So Let's demonstrate a control skill for you. Alexa, ask Rust Sound to play favorite in Family Room. Name a favorite to play. Faction Punk. Playing favorite Faction Punk. There we go. So just with a few quick commands, we can get a station specific to what we're wanting to listen to. The favorites are, of course, saved in the Rust Sound app or the Rust Sound audio system itself. So if you get this set up preemptively and you have some specific stations through specific source inputs that you're using and you save those as favorites, 
that makes it very easy to recall these. Now that also translates over into other sources that happen not to be a streamer. I don't have an ST1 tuner set up on the system right now, but I do have the programming set up so this system does think it has one. And I just took that one step further and saved a favorite as radio. So let's go back to playing our favorite we were just on here. We're back to the streamer playing that, that faction punk station. So once again, we're going to address the system with an ask Russ sound command used in the control skill. Alexa, ask Russ sound to play favorite in family room. Name a favorite to play. Radio. Playing favorite radio. So there you go. You can obviously, if you're using a tuner, you can save this station as a specific radio station itself. Um, but this gives you a really good in-depth option if you have a non rust sound source that you want to switch to and it just makes switching between source inputs a lot easier and more seamless so i would definitely recommend as a big tech tip if you want to use alexa voice control with our products take the time to save favorites in the system first make sure you're using voice control friendly names for these as it is a voice control system and we can all you know we i think we've all had that situation where we know how finicky sometimes that can be especially if you're not in direct earshot within the device I hope you found something helpful in this video, and like I said, if you want more in-depth information, be sure to check out our documentation outline in Alexa integration, but also check out the Alexa skill page themselves within the Alexa app. That's Russ Sound Control and Russ Sound Smart Home. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care.